Do you remember this woman, Adele Andaloro of New York City, the squatting victim? Well, she's gained access to her home and she was able to tour the damage inside and we have video. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan and today we got to talk about Adele Andaloro, the woman in New York City, Queens, who was a victim of squatting. She had not one, not two, but more than a lot of people squatting in their house, renting out rooms. And she was powerless to do anything about it until her case got on television and went viral. A lot of us reported on it. And then in New York City, New York State, they are changing laws to make squatting a lot easier to combat. Before, the squatters had rights like tenants, essentially. And now, not so much. So she's finally been able to gain access to her home after quite a long time. I started reporting on this a few weeks ago. And after getting arrested and everything, she's able to go back inside and tour some of the damage. Now, with squatting, you know, these people, since it's not really their home, they do whatever they want to it. The damage is, you know, it, it's damage where it could have been a lot worse, you know, especially when they know they about to get evicted and they don't have anything to lose. You'll see some of these so-called tenants, in this case, squatters, do anything flood the bathroom, throw doo-doo on the wall, all type of just ridiculous nonsense right now. Before I go any further, let's go ahead and get into the actual clip. And of course, I will link to everything in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. All right, now to a story from Seven on Your Side. You can see here, I don't know what was going on. Uh, this door has been broken into. So, yeah, the door is like somebody just rather than, I don't know, finding the key. Maybe the door was locked. It just broke into it inside the home several times after. And I'm hearing a chirp. So, of course, you know, you got these people that live in there, don't really care about the property. They just let stuff go on. They're not change, won't attempt their battery battery. They do whatever they want to do a lot of times. But so far, it, it, it doesn't look as bad as what it could have looked. Two long months, a woman from Queens finally has the keys to her own home, and we're getting an exclusive look at what was left inside. Yep, we know the woman. That's Adele right That's there. Adele. The accused squatter who prosecutors say moved. Wow, look at, look at the wall. I wonder what was on that wall. So we have, what's this, paint or some kind of residue or something on the wall? Uh, and then there's like a hole right here. Yeah, we got some, we got some damage for sure in to Adele's home was ordered to get out but even though he was out she still got a problem inside <laughs> best get reporter Dan Krauth back now and another update and we're getting an inside look what'd you find well in just the past couple of weeks we saw not just one but two men criminally charged for squatting a state law change and now possibly a local law as well they're hoping it will all make it easier for police to remove squatters instead of having to take them to housing court which says it stands right now if I think they changed something it was like one piece of line that was changed and again, I think the reason why I got changed is because of Adele and Deloro's case. Without that, it probably wouldn't have happened. But there was one piece of line that got changed that makes it easier for police to arrive on the scene and arrest someone for basically trespassing. And they cannot invoke this whole tenants right thing. Because if you were if you forced your way into the home, you a home invader, you don't have tenants rights. That's essentially what's going on. And if I'm wrong, y'all let me know in the comments. Even though all those changes happened, the homeowner still had an issue. But after seeing our report right here on Mornings at 10, the Queen's DA office took action. Even with the law changed, homeowner Adele Andaloro still had a problem. The judge ordered the accused squatter, Brian Rodriguez, not to go near her or her home. But prosecutors say he rented out rooms to other people. Hopefully I'd be able to get these people out of my house soon. But after seeing our news update, and Deloro says the Queens DA sent officers to the property the next day and removed them. Very good. Very good. Very good. Because that was the thing I covered before in the update. And they were kind of, it was kind of a limbo thing. Like, okay, well, we got the main squatter out, the top squatter. We got him out. We got him sent to the, the, the joint, at least for now. Not quite to the penitentiary, making pit rocks to Little Rocks, although he should go. But the tenants who were inside, they did sign... Something with the guy, I suppose. So that was a kind of a gray area, but obviously they have no rights to the home since they did not sign a lease with the actual person who has the 
the property in their name. All right. So they got kicked out as well. That's a, that's a good update. Go. And we go. Two months after the standoff started. How does it feel to be back in your own house? Amazing. It feels right. She was finally able to legally enter her own property. No. Two months after the whole thing started, she's able to get back into her own house. Imagine that. No one ever would have imagined it would have gone that way. So, I, I mean, the cameras were rolling. I think it almost needed to happen that way. Had we not captured it, had everybody all over the world not seen it, I think lawmakers wouldn't have been pushed to act so fast. Right. The governor even said she watched your arrest on camera. Yes. What was that like to hear? I mean, not my best moment, but if it made them pay attention and it made them push to change the law and make this a better situation for others, then, then I'm okay with it. This now... Like, isn't that what you call righteous indignation? Maybe I'm using that phrase incorrectly, but that's what you do. That's like a, a real protest. You see these, these, these people on college campuses getting arrested for what? For, for nothing, really. What she did was right on point, fighting for her rights for, as, as a homeowner to have rights to her own home. This door has been broken into several times. She got to see the inside. They tore up my wall. Of the home where she grew up. But I have many memories in this house. I love this house. To see it in the state it's in is disturbing. This is my, one of my, my older son's bedroom. You can smell, it smells like cigarettes. When we came in to clean it, there was cigarette butts all over the floor. To me- Oh, so it's been, it's already, they've already started the cleaning process. It probably was a lot worse than what we're seeing right now. This is like a hotel. Everyone had individual mini fridges in their room, space heaters. It was like a mini hotel. So it's- but it wasn't a hotel, it was your home. Right. I want to thank Seven on your side. I want to thank Channel 7. I want to thank the Queen's DA. Um, everyone that's just reached out with support. That chirp is killing me. Oh, my goodness. Please fix that. I, but I know she just get back into the house and, you know, she might need somebody to come help her, you know, get a ladder or something like that to go ahead and fix that. But please, my man right here in the bubble coat, please get her a now vote ASAP. And love and kindness. I really, really appreciate it. Mm. Oh, Talk yes. about a full circle oh, moment. So yes. we first aired her arrest right here in the mornings at 10. Yes. That video went viral. And now mm -hmm. here we are two months later. She finally has her home back. Thank I goodness. love it. I love how she says, not my best moment. Not my best moment. Um, but it, it, to me, that moment affected some change. Right. Mm -hmm. I believe it was the first time anyone was ever videotaped or caught on camera getting arrested yeah. in a squatter situation. A homeowner. Oh. Yeah. So uh, we all know what happened after that. It, we also have an update for you. You know, this new law was changed. Yes. And we has received a lot of positive mm -hmm. reaction from the community. It's too soon yet to tell how it's going to exactly be implemented. Okay. This is for clear-cut squatter cases when a stranger moves in in the middle of the night, not for a tenant that stopped paying for a while. Now, let's pause for a minute. Um, the whole thing about the tenants, the so-called tenants that were there with the squatter guy who did not sign the lease or anything with the actual homeowner, it was kind of a question like, are we going to get him out or are we not? But then when the story aired on television about that whole, you know, limbo thing, the police showed up. So what I don't want to happen is um, the police just react to things like that. OK, it should just be a matter of this person is in my home. This is not their property. They don't have rights to it and get them out versus, OK, the story's going viral. It's getting a lot of attention. Let's act now. It shouldn't have to be that way. Let's keep on going. Right. But I spoke with two experts who tell me that new law does not go far enough. Have a listen. Okay. I think that this station, I think that you did a tremendous job at trying to hold people accountable. But, but I don't believe that they that they actually passed anything with teeth. With the new law, do you think that police will take more action against people who are trespassing? It's hard to say because the new law doesn't give the police any tools to do so. Really what the police need, what any officer on the beat needs, is a piece of paper that says who has the right to be here and who doesn't. Yeah. And we tackle all of the issues like this in our 30 minute special that airs tomorrow night at 530. It's called Squatter Standoff, Eyewitness to Change. There it is right there on your screen. We'll show you exactly what the new law means, what more new laws could soon be on the way in the next few weeks. We take you inside other cases. And we also have tips to protect your own property. Nina Pen so that's that. So you guys can check that out. It's like a 30 minute special. I guess that'd be um, it's probably already out by now. This video's about a couple of days old, so that's probably already out. You probably can go check it out. But. So, yeah, that's that on that. Shout out to Adele and Deloro for being very brave, going up there, getting arrested on camera and affecting some change. Now, I hope that the new law 
can actually work, that the cops can actually do something without having to be prompted by a viral news story that the city wants to cover up and not get a bunch of attention on a mainstream media worldwide level. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what said you? What's your thoughts on this whole situation about the, the, the update and the law and the police having to react to the television stories that go viral rather than just being able to go out there and do things normally? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Um, the damage could have been a lot worse. And I think they already cleaned up, like they said, there was some stuff that had been done. But I've seen some horror stories, especially when you have like real tenants that decide to stop paying rent and then there's, a, there's an eviction process, so they know it's coming and they can't do anything to stop it. I mean, they do all types of stuff in people's homes because they feel like they have nothing to lose and they don't really care. I've seen it time and time again. So luckily it wasn't that bad, but it's bad enough. The, the worst thing, obviously, is not having your own house for two months and getting arrested for trying to go back to it. But I'm glad that they're able to resolve it and she has her home. Now, all the other squatting victims in New York City, New York State, all over the country should be given the same opportunity to be made whole and given their properties back. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.